Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I've been off for a few days because I've been super busy with my dogs. Um, it's that time of year when they want mating and having puppies. Uh, so my last video I, I did like a, a refresh of these and I'm going to do these today. So first of all as you can see that they are starting to come away from the cuticle. So I'm just going to put a base coat on them and that will blend it all in and I have done some filing. Right, out of my opening of my Valentine's box, I got these lovely little glitters. So I'm just going to, they're very similar. So I'll just have a look at them out of the packet and see what they look like. But I think they're very similar. I'll probably go for the more lilac one. I'll just tip those out. Yeah, so there's a pinky one and a lilac-y one. I think I'm going to go with this one, just to give it a little bit of contrast. So I'll just open that up. Right, so I'm going to get my dotting tool and just very carefully pick up little flakes. And if you can see, get it in shot. I've put... Um, a base coat on to cover up and sort of blur the line where the nail was growing out but I'm doing a refresh on these and then they'll be coming off in a few days so I just want to give a bit more coverage just to make sure you can't see where it starts and where it, where it ends so I'm just putting little bits on just as extra coverage Like that. Can you see how it just blends it all in? And instead of using a brush, I'm using this dotting tool, and then I find that the dotting tool will pick up the teenier ones. So it just gives it a little of extra sparkle and it just covers that up a bit. Right, so there it is. I've popped it under the lamp and that's set in. Now I'm going to, out of the Valentine's box from Vetsy, I'm going to get a couple of these hearts and pop these on. I know Valentine's is now over, but hearts are all year. So I think I'm going to have this one at the top. doesn't want to ah oh, there we go I was gonna say it doesn't want to come off the card there so I'm going to have that there like that and then something more see-through I think this is see-through. Can't tell till you take it off the card whether it's see-through or it's got a white background. Yes, it is see-through. So I want that there. So it's got the glitter showing through it. A little bit more subtle. And then I'm going to go with this arrow. Like that. Pop that there. Like that. And then because it is a little bit bobbly, just get my base coat. Before I put my top coat on, I'll do a base coat and 
pop it under the lamp and that will just smooth everything out nicely and I like this base coat this is really nice from Wow Bao So I'll go and put that under the lamp. Okay, so that's out the lamp and ready for its top coat. So I've got my Nail Mate Super Gloss from uh, Glitter Planet. Couldn't think where it's from then. So I'll just cover over again now it's nice and smooth. And that will protect it all. like that. Right so that's finished and it's, you can touch it now it's it's smooth and done. So I'm going to do the same on this nail similar from the same sheet and then that will bring that across to there. So uh, again I'll get a heart I'm going to have this one. They're not easy to get off and I want to pop it because things go in that way so I want to pop it there like that and then I want another see-through one like that pop that there so it just gives a little something but you can still see the glitter and then this time I'm going to have the words kiss like that and I'll have that like So because there's no glitter, I don't need to put a base coat over to smooth it out. So it's just a case of putting some top coat on to protect it. Like that. And then off to the lamp. Right, I'm using this card next again from the Betsy Valentine's box because quite fancy having these hearts here. When I'm when I'm doing nails, I always try and bring them in like that and down the middle I'll try and keep quite central. So I thought this was perfect for going down the middle there. So Just peel that off, like so, and try and get it central. Well, it's grabbed, so I'll just have to go with it now. I actually think that's quite central, like that. That's cute. And then again, uh, not base coat, top coat. Concentrating around the cuticle area so that it fills in where where it's just growing away. Because all this is, is is just a refresh of an already done nail. Just so you can get that extra couple of days wear. the lamp okay so there that that's that one done now for this nail um, in the again Betsy love box 
there were these beautiful foils and I quite fancied doing this one. So I'm just going to cut a piece off. Like that. I like to cut a piece off rather than work from the foil because that way you don't catch it on anything because if you catch it then it can ruin the next bit. So a nice piece so I can decide where I want to go and I'm going to pop it on there. So I've got my McCart Nail Art Foil Glue. So you, you just do a nice thin coat of this and then pop it in the lamp for two minutes. Okay and um, that's how they look so far. So now I'm going to do a little bit of layering. So we've got these here that were in the Betsy box. And I think they're really different, they're lovely. So I'm going to put a coat of base coat down. Over the foil. And that's just something for it to stick to. So you don't need to put a thick load down. And then just start grabbing some of these. I quite like these colours. So I'm going to pop them down. Hang on, it won't stay. Oh, that one's got a little bit stuck on, so I'll try another one. It wasn't cut properly. <clears throat> so it's sort of like layering on the heart. So you've got the heart foil underneath. And then you've got these different hearts. See, so you've got like two lots of hearts. So I'm just going to pop that under the lamp. Now because um, they're quite raised, they are pretty, but they are quite raised. So I'm going to do some base gel over them just to smooth it out a little bit. And again, I'm using the base gel from uh, Wow Bao. I think it's a nice thick base gel. And it just sort of smooths everything out, see? And, and it also amplifies the shine from the hearts. I think that's quite pretty. Okay, that's nicely covered. So now I'm gonna save it all with top coat. Again, the Nail Mate Super Gloss. So just covering it all like that. Don't want to take them off now. Might keep them on a week. There you go. Pop that under the lamp and that's nailed on. So that's what we have so far. Now I'm looking at some little studs for my little nail. Um, I'm probably gonna just go with the same studs as this so they sort of go in together. So I will get some top coat. Again, like I said, not too thick and that way studs don't float off the nail before you get it under the lamp. You don't want them walking around your nail, you want them in the position you want them. So nice and smooth. And then what have I done with 
excuse me. Grab these little stones here and just dot them around. They're so handy to have as little accents. There's always one that flips upside down, isn't there? Hold on, let me take that off. There, there we go. So I just go and pop that under the lamp. There we go. And that's just set in place with the top coat. So lastly, I'm just going to dot, um, this one's got enough shine and this one's definitely got enough. So I'm just going to probably pop some on these two. So I'll just put some top coat on. Very, very small amount. And again, with the middle nail. just use your little stick just to grab a few and it just highlights everything I've got another one upside down just catches the light you see One more at the bottom. There. Oh, have I knocked one? There. Like that. And again, here. up here there I'll pop those under the lamp and then be back with the reveal and this is the reveal like and subscribe if you enjoyed my channel and its content and I'll see you in the next one bye